Jam and Jam Beats. What's up, guys? So I'm actually going to show you guys how to do this cute angel wing pendant. And I made this one of my grandfather. He passed away 10 years ago. It's a gold pendant with a gold chain. And it has like little jewels on the wings and all around the photo. <clears throat> and if you look kind of close at the picture, you can see it's kind of like a glittery look on it. And that is actually how um, they look before you actually sublimate on these. And this has a film on it. So, and you can still kind of see it shining through. So I'm actually gonna make a few more of these for some people in my family. I'm gonna make my dad one since this is his dad. So you'll see me making one for him today and then one for my aunt which is my dad's sister and a couple of my cousins. So they come in silver and gold are the two styles that I have. And I will, <clears throat> if I don't link it down below, I'll put the Facebook group down that I purchased these from. Um, I do purchase from the lady locally because she does live near me. And there's also a lady in Virginia in the group. And I'm not sure where the other lady's from, but I want to say she's from Virginia as well, but I'm not exactly sure. So then, like with the silver one, you have the chain as well. And like I said, I'll link the green, link the green, <laughs> link the group down below. So you guys can check that out. So when you get the package, it comes looking like this. And you can see the pendant in it. Same thing here. <clears throat> I can't open this thing on camera. I'm not about to try that. I don't have no nails. So you open it up and it comes with the angel wing. The angel wing. You have the thing to put inside it. And this is actually like a piece of, I want to say it's like double sided tape or whatever for you to put under here. Um, so it stays on here. But me personally, I ended up using the professional liquid super glue because I was like, well, if this shit can almost glue my fingers together, I know this chain isn't going nowhere. So that was just my personal preference and I will link this down below. I actually got it from Walmart and I was going to use it to make croc giblets. So I'm also going to be using it for this today and you do not need a lot of it. And as you can see, mine isn't going anywhere. So yeah, I just prefer that. So, <clears throat> but it's personal preference. You can use the little double-sided tape or you can use the glue or whatever you want to use really. So that's what comes in it. That's the gold one. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the silver one too because I am going to have to make all of these and actually have to go get more tomorrow or the weekend since I didn't get enough this time. And I'm actually going to sit my eyes back here for now. I'll keep it in frame so y'all can see it. See it. So again, you get the little double-sided tape. You get the aluminum blank. The chain comes in a little um, packaging and then you get the pendant as well. And I'm actually, like I said, I'm gonna be doing the same photo for all of these and I'm gonna screen record what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you my materials first. And yes, and you're also gonna need some of these just to open up the chain at the end, but you'll see that as we move further along in the video so yeah all right so i've opened up my cricut design space and i've opened up a new canvas document in design space and i'm going to show you actually how to get this circle shape of any image you want for your keychain so and what i do so i'm actually going to go to upload open upload the images i select the picture that i want Okay, so here's the photo that I want. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to select the circle. I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to drag it over the portion of the picture that I want. So with this one, I don't want the hearts at the top and I don't want the hearts at the bottom. So I'm actually going to drag it where it's mainly his face on the picture. And depending on your image, you may have to unlock and lock it to move it how you need to. So if I lock it, it's only going to let me drag it like one one way. If I unlock it, I can drag it either way I, I choose. So I don't want as many of the people in the back either. So I'm going to kind of pull it down a little bit. 
maybe to about there. Then I'm going to select both of these images at the same time. I'm going to go to Actions, and I'm going to slice it. So now I can delete this circle. I don't need this anymore. And here's what I have for my necklace. So I can delete this. I'm going to delete this because I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Then I'm going to go to Edit. And the size that I need for this, the width is 1.3. And the height is also 1.3 and here is the photo so I'm just gonna go back to actions now and I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna duplicate it since I am making three of these so now I'm gonna go to make it all right and here is what I have on my paper so yes I am only printing three of these because I don't have any other projects I want to work on that's going to fit on this size of paper right now so we're just going to go with it and I'm just going to print it. I'm not going to let Cricut cut it out because I personally just like to cut little stuff out by hand instead of having to wait for the machine to register it and cut it out and I could just save all that time just by cutting it out by hand and I could probably talk to you guys a little bit more about um, some of the other items that we do so yeah Woo. all right let me do that i'm gonna cut my wi-fi back on real quick because the internet on my phone is just extremely slow see and then i'm gonna have to go back and cut my printer back on that's the only thing we're working on like your iphone ipad you have to kind of switch back and forth unless your data is not slow like mine is but where i'm living at it's faster than where I used to live at, but it's still pretty slow. Oh, and I almost forgot. Do not forget to mirror your images. In this case, I wouldn't really have to since it's a picture, but let's practice good habits, okay? So, um, I'm going to mirror my image, and on my phone, it's right here. It might look different on your computer or your iPad, but please don't forget that I do it all the time. And as you can see, I was about to do it right then and there. So, yeah, don't forget that part. No, not continue. I'm not cutting it with Cricut. So again, let me just turn my Wi-Fi back on because this is slow. Okay. Then I'm going to go back and turn my printer back on. Ignore this part because a lot of people probably already have their printer set up. We just, all we're doing right now is printing. <laughs> That's it. However set up you have it, roll with it. And I'm just going to hit print and let my Epson do his thing. And we'll be back on video in a few seconds. Alright, so I am back. I printed out my, that's clearly the wrong way. I printed out my pictures and this is what it looks like. Um, I have three and usually I'll print extras just so I can have them. I do have an extra from the last time I printed it, but I wasn't even thinking about it until now when I said I need to print extras. I just always print extras because if I'm using one sheet of paper and let's say if I cut it out wrong, for example, now I gotta reprint another one over again on one big 11 by 17 piece of paper and I could've just printed like five or six at the same time and been okay, you know what I mean? So if you're one like me and you're clumsy and you make errors, just print a few at the same time. So I didn't want to confuse you guys, but I'm doing three, so this is what I have. But I just have some extras around here somewhere. So if I mess up, I'll just use those. So yeah, so now, I have my paper I'm gonna need some tape and I saw people say um get like one of those uh tape dispensers and put this in there I need to do that because I get sick and tired of having to cut this stuff off you're gonna need scissors and I think I showed you everything else other than my heat press and how I do that but I'll do that in a second once we get over there and I cut these images out so let's just go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and cut one out and I kind of like to cut it close, but not too close. I do leave a little bit of white, but it doesn't really matter. Just don't cut your picture up. And I'm gonna cut this, make sure you cut this black out, because if you don't, and let's say you press a shirt or something, and you leave a black on there, you're gonna get a black box on your shirt, so. In this case, it wouldn't matter because you're only putting the circle over it, but. Yeah, so this is what I have. And I'm just gonna take my blank. I'm going to peel off this 
I'm gonna do it off camera, but it's the film over top of this. And a lot of times when you do sublimation, if you have like aluminum blanks, you're always gonna have a film over it, nine out of 10. Cause I have gotten some before and I didn't have any uh, film over top of it, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera real quick and be right back. All right, I am back. And I just wanted to show you guys like this is, um, you can probably see the film over top. I'll kind of lay it back on there and you just peel it off like this. So yeah. And they all come, they, all of these came like that, so. And that's what they look like with the film off. I've already cut out my photos and I've actually went ahead and cut out my tape. Luckily this time I didn't mess any of my images up by cutting them out. So <laughs> I got lucky. Um, so now I'm just going to place And you can see it's a little bit bigger. You can measure it to be exactly this circle. Um, I suck at measuring. But um, if you need to see exact, here are the measurements for you. Um, and you can do what you want with it. Was well, about one and one eighth. Yeah, about one and one eighth. So there you go. But yeah, I'm just gonna take my um my plank, or you can cut around this and make it a little bit smaller. It's all in what you want to do. So I want it positioned honestly, like over his face more than anything. Everything else I don't really care about as much. So. Just as long as I have his face on there, that's fine. And what I usually do, I put a piece of tape on the back of my picture. My dogs are making like the weirdest noises right now. So if you hear them, ignore it. If you hear the dryer, ignore it. I'm up doing laundry at what, four o'clock in the morning? Because my schedule is just all messed up. So I just take this paper and I fold it over the back of the aluminum. And I'm moving it around because I'm crazy. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to place it on the back and just pull it over. And I am like, I probably use too much tape, but I'd rather have more pressure than no pressure at all. So I'm going to show you from the back. I just stick my tape on there like such and just pull it over. And then I just kind of fold these parts over. And it should be good now, but just because I um, want to make sure everything is good, I'm just going to take a long piece of tape and tape it on the front and pull it. I pull mine really tight actually. And then I'm folding this down and doing it that way. So that's how I get the picture on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. And then I will be back once I put it on the press and I press it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. so i'm just over at my press now um i don't know what kind of press this is this is actually my boyfriend is he makes shirts and all that good stuff so i actually have a pillow that i bought from amazon on here i'll link the description below um i did not like the tape that came with this packaging because for some reason it started like burn on the back of my aluminum and things so a good friend of mine ended up giving me some tape and it's the girl so she's in my area and she always looks out for me and she actually gave me the measurements for this video so shout out to nikisha for this and um she's awesome she's in the group and she'll always help you however she can so you know big shout out to her because she is my dog so i'm just gonna take my little blanks and you don't want them on this side you want them face down well face up with my with your picture face up so i'm gonna press all these at the same time all right and then i like to put um, parchment paper down. I just had an extra piece laying around that I usually use for my blanks. We change them when we do shirts every time just because we are like paranoid and kind of beginners at this. So yeah. And then I have like my Teflon sheet that also came with the pillows that I bought. And like I said, I'll link that all down below. And I like to put the pillow underneath when I do these because I don't have a lot of pressure on my machine. Well, my boyfriend's machine. Our machine currently. Um, because I'm not strong enough to open that bitch up. So, okay. Yeah. And I actually like to use a glove when I pull my um, aluminum off. It's not like heat resistant or anything, but it does help with... I was about to say it's a hole in. I bought... I got a few of these. So, I'm going to just push it down until it clicks and again we are at 52 seconds 400 degrees now but it was 60 seconds when i started and you can see me we used the thing but 
And I like that lighting. At least I don't. So yeah. So 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Do not press this shit at 60 degrees. 60 seconds for 400 degrees. And I'm going to just scoot y'all back a little bit because I'm going to need space to open this damn thing up. And I hope I can and not burn a damn house down because, Lord, I don't want this thing. I need one of the ones that you press the button and it rises on its own because my weak ass. Mm. All right, five, four, three, two, one. And it's going to be. Oh, no, see All right, I'm going to just use my glove and take this one down. And just throw it in the area with the rest of our sublimation items. So I like to kind of look at it and you can tell like if it went through because it'll be, you can kind of see the picture through it. At least that's what I've um, learned from doing sublimation. So I'm just going to take it and peel some of it off. And I'm not going to peel all of it off. I'm just going to peel like a portion just to kind of see and make sure that it um, gassed through. So. I'm kind of trying to do this kind of fast, but it's not working. So yeah, I'm gonna just lift some of the tape up if I can see it. Like I said, you don't have to use as much tape because I'm like, I've been making my job hard a lot of times. So, and you know, I didn't even mention the price on these. I want to say they're eight or nine dollars. I don't remember. I'll just be buying shit. So. <laughs> And that's the problem with me and crafting. My boyfriend, I know he don't, he don't be saying nothing, but he just be, probably be thinking like, she just buy everything, like, and I do. I be buying everything and don't need it. But it just be so fun, like, since we started doing this, let me grab my scissors, because I'm struggling. I put so much tape on this thing, so I'm just going to cut it off. And it looked like it went through, so I'm probably do it. Yay, it did go through. Okay, cool. So this thing not hot no more. So I'm gonna just take it off. Oh my god, I'm really struggling, y'all. And I don't want to bend it up or nothing, but damn, this shit wormy. I I didn't struggle this much last time. You know what? It's because I'm on video and I don't never record videos. So now we're doing the reveal. And you gotta keep in mind, like my picture wasn't that great because it was like an older picture or whatever. And not the best quality, but um, I don't know if you can see it right here. But it came out really good. So 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and do these two really quick. Take this tape off. All oh, this damn. Okay, chill. So note to self, you do not need that much damn tape. But yeah, like ever since I don't know what I was talking about. What, what, what I'm talking about sublimation. Ever since I started doing this, like, I just want to buy everything. Like, I got projects that I haven't even started on. Like, bonnets and what else? Um, wands. No, we did a wand stopper. Fridge magnets. Uh, bath mats. So, if you guys want to see me start those or attempt at some of those items, let me know. You know, I got, like, face masks and bath mats. Refrigerator magnets. Wand stoppers them damn tumblers that i cannot stand i hate them things if somebody can help me out just let me know so you can see we both seeing it at the same time once i peel all this tape off so yeah and i'm probably gonna speed this part up but we're gonna see i'll probably speed through the last one since i was kind of talking during this one i'm talking now y'all all right let me go ahead and take this one off all right so the lighting's a little bit better over here and these are how it came out. It all came out really good. And I'm happy because I didn't I was hoping not to mess these up. And this is what the picture looked like beforehand. I'm gonna show you this one because this is one I printed the other day and was gonna throw away because I messed it up the way I cut it. That's why I said it's always good to print extra. So you can see how the picture looks compared to when you actually press it. And you can see they have like a little glitter sheen to them. And I just think it is just so beautiful. Like I just love doing these so much. I was like, well, if I mess up, we bought some badge reels and 
luckily they're the same size as these necklaces so i'm just gonna show you guys how to put these inside the necklace i'm gonna attempt to try this double-sided tape mess but i don't know about this y'all i don't like this stuff so that's one side right there peeled up that side is sticky and i'm assuming it should be both sides since it's like one side has to go on the necklace and then the other side has to go on the picture oh my god i suck at this song can't do it on camera y'all but you just peel both sides off and it does feel like some really strong tape but i just feel like tape just kind of wears and tears more than glue over the time and i want to say this is like waterproof this glue i have i think it is yeah oh look it was the warning says bond skin in seconds oh i sure found out when i got it on my fingers by accident other than messing with them damn crocs i'm wearing gloves next time because i almost got my fingers stuck together like this <laughs> okay y'all i'm not messing with this tape no more because i'm just sitting here struggling if you can use the tape use the tape period so yeah and this is the one i bent this one a little bit that's okay all right so i'm gonna just take my glue that i personally like to use and then don't not get this shit on your fingers i'm gonna put a little dab in the middle and just kind of rub it around and you can put some around the edges you're not gonna be able to see it so and then you just take your picture and put it in the inside and you got time to work with it so and just press it down so that's why i do love this glue like you can see i can still move it and stuff look and i don't got it on my damn finger again look at me i'm about to be walk around with this damn pendant on my finger okay and i'll get it off in a second but yeah it takes a few seconds to bond with this glue so you got time to work with it okay don't put it as close to the edge because i just um try to keep it towards the center about that much should be good the center part i was gonna say because i didn't put that much on mine the other day just a little like glue dot in the middle and just press it down where's my last one same thing with this one put a little dot in the middle take your thing try to line it up on the edges and then push it in like such and press it down and you're good to go all right so that's the pendant portion of how to press them and print your pictures and templates and all that good stuff now it's just one more step i'm gonna do one of these on camera because again i just feel like this is so unnecessary like i wish they made it a little bit easier i don't mind it but y'all know well y'all don't know but you gonna know i don't like having to do extra work so it's like a little um i don't know what these things are called but i did buy some for my bracelets that I were doing so this little hook thing on the end um you're gonna want to take this off so that's why I said you're gonna need something like this they're not that strong so you might be able to bend it with your fingers if you can do it that way but I'm gonna just use these because I like to make my job a little bit easier so you need to take this off because if I were to try to I'm gonna show you why if I were I was like, what am I doing right now? If I were to try to fit this through there, it's not going to go because of this little circle around. And it's, yeah. I sat there for the longest time the other day trying to figure out how to put this thing in there. And I had to message Nikisha like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on right now. So, I'm going to just take my little tweezer thingies. I'm not a jewelry maker like that, so... And just kind of bend it so I can open it up some and take it off. See, I open it. I'm just opening it up so I can remove it from this thing. So, give me a second while I do that. You can stick it in there too. I don't want making my life hard. There we go. And I do have some extra one of these. I got some stronger ones, and I've been thinking about using those instead. So. As you can see, I took it off like such. And I'm going to just sit it aside so I don't lose it. Because you do have to put it back on there. Now, the person that I'm making, well, the people that I'm making these for, they are right-handed. 
are right-handed so i'm gonna put it where you hook it with your right hand so this side's gonna go in here like such and then i'm gonna put this little ring that's what it is a jump ring duh let me stop because i i really couldn't think of what it was for a second and i'm just gonna put it back in here Okay, I'm probably gonna struggle because I'm I wear glasses, y'all, and I can't see this little stuff like that. Whew. I'll be trying not to damn pinch my fingers in this thing. I don't know how many times I done did that. I'm clumsy. Y'all gonna figure that out. Y'all gonna figure out a lot of stuff about me if I continue. If y'all like these videos, that is. But I actually, I think these bracelets, not bracelets, these necklaces are like one of my favorite things to do now. Honestly. I really like doing these. And they're so pretty, like, so, 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 so pretty. And if you want one, you know, already made, you can message me. Um, I'm going to link my personal info down below. And here is our business card. So here's our information. You can email us, message us on Instagram or Facebook, or you can text that number at the bottom. Um, if you want to purchase one of these, I do sell them for $25 uh, made with your picture on it or any picture you want, you know. And they're just like really cute and really nice gifts. So yeah, now I have my chain on. And I put my little jump ring back on. And when you hook it, when you hook it, you hook it back on this thing. And I'm going to tell you, I like to, I'm going to show y'all what I like to do. And it's going to look crazy. So I like to just <laughs> around a little bit <laughs> just to make sure that little ring part doesn't come off. Because I'm really rough on jewelry and all types of things. So I had to really make sure mine was secure. But as you can see. This is what they look like. And I'm going to go ahead and put the chain on the other two. And I'll be back. And I'm going to show you how I like to package these up for sale. Alright, I'm back. So I got all my um necklace pieces on. All my rope chains on. And I've already classed them together. So now I'm just going to put them in their little packaging. And they do come with this like little bag. But I just like to use these cute little organza bags. I bought a hundred from Walmart. I think it was like six dollars or something. So I just prefer to use these for any jewelry that I make. So I'm gonna just stick it in here. Drop the rope in first. Put this forward. I'm actually gonna put my business card in here. I don't know how good it's gonna fit, but it's gone. Yeah, there we go. And I probably need to buy bigger ones, but that's fine. Um, it's fine for now. Like I said, this is just from whatever. Oh, this is just for my family, so I'm going to go ahead and package all of these. Up. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you got any tips or tricks, you know, that I didn't do in this video. By all means, share them with us and let us know because you know we're all. I feel like I honestly feel like the crafting community is one of the most helpful communities that I've ever been in. Like, I've done makeup before, and it's not even quite as inviting as it is with crafting. So, yeah, you know, we're here to help each other, and that's what we're here for. <laughs> so, yeah, again, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. We don't have a Snapchat or a TikTok. I don't even know if they still have TikTok up, but, or you can email us with your order, and we can go from there. Or you can text us. We do have a um a business phone. So yeah. Just hit us up. And we'll make you one. These are gonna be really nice gifts for Christmas. And I'll probably make somebody special one. And I know they're probably like, I didn't get one. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is what my little craft bags look like. Again, I got these out of Walmart. And I'll probably put them in a um, little box that I bought from you, Mama. Because I just think they would be really cute in there with some like cute little tissue paper and stuff. So, this is the box. I'm just gonna fold it up real cute, see tipsy. All right. So, and this is what it's gonna look like afterwards. 
and I'll usually come and put my label on top and probably like a little thank you note or something so yeah I just think it's really cute thanks for watching and leave me a comment like and subscribe thanks guys